Welcome to Kellis Coder and today we will be assembling and reviewing the floppy EMU for the old Apple systems. Motherfucker! So first you need to clear off all the paper of the acrylic and that is always a nasty little process. So I figured let's do this right because there's so many pieces here. So wet it up like that, let it soak in for a bit. Start to rub on there, and look, there you have your first edge, grab it. Now that is the way to do it. Just soak it up, rub your nail on the edge a few times, then it will lift up easily. More easily than if it's dry, there we go. Grab it. Grab it by the pussy and then just peel it off and then it's satisfying otherwise it's really frustrating. All the paper is off, now we can get to assembling. So very important, the order of operations is very important in this project. Start off with this acrylic piece, obviously I have the arctic frost with this big slot on the left. That is your starting process. Put your screws in there, because that allows you to line the emu. bit of a tricky one. The camera goes over it, so just lift it up gently. Pressure holds it in place. There's a frosted outside, so that goes there. There's only one way that these can slot in. There. Then we have this little bracket that holds the buttons like so. We slip the button. So we first put that in like so. And so there it is, fully assembled. Nice. I did decide to flip the bolts around to have the nut on the back. Because I think this is a bit more aesthetic than that. But for the building process it makes sense to put them first in from the rear to align the PCB. So let's see what happens. Oh there it goes. Yeah it's booting into DOS. No more floppies. So the floppy email. What are my thoughts about it? Actually, I really like it. I love the acrylic case. Once it's assembled, it's really sturdy. I love how it sits on the Apple like so. But even better is the SD card. It comes already installed with ProDOS. Unfortunately, it doesn't run on this Apple because I don't have the 128 case. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. But also DOS 3.3. A ton of games like uh, Frogger, Moon Patrol, or Oregon Trail, you died of herpes, uh, dysentria. I'd rather die of herpes to be honest. So it's really a nice piece of kit to blow some new life into your uh, beloved Apple II. Now the price is a bit steep. This kit cost around $120, but I also had to pay import fees and taxes which added another $34. Well, welcome to the Netherlands, but I still think it's, uh, it's a good value for money and I will definitely use this and do some assembly programming on this lovely little Apple II. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.